So I'm in uh, the water cube in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, yeah. with uh, Kartik, as you can see, Kartik yes. uh, Komana. Yeah. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Kartik Komana. I'm from India. I'm doing my master degree in KTH in the field of land and water resource engineering, mm -hmm. and my degree is water system technology. So now I would like to discuss about uh, my practical experience in India about the problem of Ganges pollution. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the biggest river? Yeah, that's the biggest river in India and the most scale, holistic river in India. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in Italy, there is a pool. Uh, in that pool, they put, they keep Gang Ganges water as one of the most important water. Mm -hmm. So during my studies in Varanasi, I have been there and uh, observed the people's behavior how they are doing their religious activities mm -hmm. and uh, and I have been to the agricultural fields surrounding the Varanasi and uh, know how the farmers are facing problem by using the Ganga water. Mm -hmm. The main problem of Ganga water in Varanasi is uh, sewage. Uh, the, the city sewage is directly dumping into the river because the capacity of sewage treatment plant in Varanasi is about 100 mlt million yeah. liters per day yeah. but uh, the actual sewage generation in city is about 400 mlt so if you can go and see on the bank of the river just you can see the pipelines mm -hmm. that are directly into the river just dumped just dumped mm -hmm. from the city sewage untreated sewage and um, another two important sources of pollution is the city starts with a river called Varuna, Varuna River, and uh, another city, another river called Assi. The name of the city itself comes from those two river, rivers, Varuna and Assi, mm -hmm. called Varanasi. So, the untreated sewage they are driving through the Varuna and Assi directly to the river. I have taken videos of those huge sewage dump. Yeah. And uh, I have made some interviews with the people on the bank who are doing the religious activities and I have been talked to the washermen washing the clothes they are believing as it is the most holistic city mm -hmm. they are saying that uh, Ganga is our mother yeah. and no one can pollute it it will be always pure Oh. and uh, many researchers have conducted uh, experiments and yeah. do the sampling in Varanasi water and they form the coliform bacteria content is three to three thousand to four thousand times wow. higher than WHO standards. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that water not even you cannot even touch it mm -hmm. because it is totally con bacterial mm -hmm. pollution yeah. and human dead bodies because on the bank of the river people cremate dead bodies. They believe that if you cremate the body on that bank, the soul will directly go to heaven. Yeah. So, and it is expensive to cremate. So people, poor people who cannot affect, afford the amount, they will just throw the dead bodies to the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cremation in that place guards are 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I have I have visited Varanasi and yes. I, I do remember the, yes, the, sten the stench is also pretty. Yeah. And so I mean just. Briefly, I mean, it's a cultural issue. Yeah, cultural issue. How 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 should we tackle this? How, what's your? That is the main challenge. That is the main challenge. Even I'm facing. You know, in India, eighty-five to ninety, eighty to eighty-five percent of population is Hindus, mm -hmm. and they are most religious. So they, and uh, Varanasi, for city Varanasi, from our ancient times, people believe that. You have to go at least once in your life. For example, for Muslims, they have to go to the uh, Mecca. Me Makkah, Makkah, mm -hmm. yes, in the, once in their life. Yeah. In the same way, in India, for Hindus, you have to go to take your holistic uh, religious customs. Mm -hmm. And if you die there, mm, you, your soul will go to the heaven, right? So, and one more main problem is the people who come there. Or old people actually because maybe people at the age of 60 65 they come and they are not so interested that they want to do the religious activities they don't care about causing pollution to the environment during my project I have worked with an NGO called Sankat Mojan Foundation and uh, they are trying to educate people 
in a local city local mm. people but uh, again the problem is the pollution causing to the river is not from local people no it's high, it's industry it's like you said industrials according for religious customs people around 60 to 70000 people take their religious customs every day in the city in the cars those are coming from other parts of india so it is high, very very difficult to educate them though there are many sign boards that you, you should not allow to use any shampoos to take holy dip but they don't care mm. so the ngos they are trying to do their best but it is most difficult yeah, to find yeah sounds very difficult yeah Okay, well, uh, we have to round up to keep yeah. it short. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, well, hopefully a solution will be found. Uh, you maybe if you're here next year, yeah, you I'll have be here and tell us a story yeah, if sure. anything improved. Yeah, sure, I will. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.